Yo, welcome back everybody. We've had a lot of comments on the channel about people not being able to get four modular gear and a lot of other random legendary pieces. So today in this video, we're gonna test that out. We're gonna go to the watch. We're gonna complete the quest. We're gonna see if we can not get some of that modular gear. I'm also gonna be going through my inventory to show you the gear pieces that I've been able to get at drops level 60, whether it be through Heroic Assault or throughout the open world. So maybe some of those pieces that you've been looking for that you don't know whether or not they still drop or not, well, hopefully we can figure that out. So just to show you my inventory, I picked a character in which I really don't have very much level 60 gear on. I have one single predator suit at level 60 and that's it for legendary. I do have the stealth at level 50, which some people have also asked me about whether or not it drops. And obviously it does somewhere because I did get it at level 50. On the melees, we got the Predator at level 60, and that is it. And then at ranged, we have a couple other ones, but we have overtime effect, which I did put in the video from yesterday. And then we got a team up one in Predator. So really not much legendary pieces. So just to show you where we're at, we are at the watch with David and it does show the rewards to be a legendary suit, which is gonna be level 60. And also looking at her contacts, it shows in here, help David, a member of the watch, make downtown Gotham safer by fighting crime, saving citizens, talk to David. So let's go over here, let's talk to David. This is the literally the first time I've done the watch with Batgirl. Now it showed challenges complete and when I go into my inventory now, we have our gear over here. It does show that we do have a new piece, a new ranged weapon, which is interesting because it said suit initially, but looking over here, it says concussive. So that is certainly interesting because it does not have any modular piece and we didn't get any modular piece and we didn't get any challenges for that. Now we went back to the Belfry for the night. The whole board reset. Madam Palmaris is now, uh, now our contact for the watch. So we're going to go out to her after it refreshed because that was the first time I ever did the watch with Batgirl. So maybe it just gave me a reward for at least talking to David. So let's go over here to Madame Palmaris and see if we can't uh, get some, you know, activities to trigger and see if uh, see if we can can't get our rewards for doing this. Okay, so we'll talk to her real quick. Okay, challenge is complete from Palmaris to earn rewards. So it should pop up uh, under the watch. It shows help Madame Palmaris, the leader of the watch to make North Gotham safer by fighting crimes, saving citizens. So we got to go out there in North Gotham. We got to stop crimes, use stealth attacks to defeat criminals. If we do both of those, we should get a melee, legendary melee of modular. All right, so we've completed the stealth part of it. We just got one more crime to stop and then we should get done. We should be able to get our rewards. If you look over at crafting, there are no markers. So I do not have everything in there or at least I've looked at all of the new stuff. So once we get this, supposedly we should get our, uh, we should get our modular piece. There we go. And so we completed it. We got our, at least it says that we got our legendary mod. And so let's go over here or our legendary gear piece. We over to melee, we look over here and it says incendiary tonfa, which means that there is no modular piece. So I think that definitely confirms that the modular drops from the watch, especially after all the things that I heard in the comments, no longer work. They do not drop modular items anymore from the watch, unfortunately. But I don't think that necessarily means you can't get modular pieces because at least with Nightwing, I've been doing Heroic Assault or he is one of the characters that I've been grinding Heroic Assault and going out in the world. And as you see, I do have a legendary modular piece as well as a regenerator suit, as well as a stealth suit. So these are some of the items that people have mentioned that they have not been able to acquire. And all of these I have been able to acquire, whether it be in Heroic Assault or in the world. Here as well is a modular incendiary. And we also have uh, we also have regenerator sticks too. Here's another one that people have mentioned that they haven't been able to find elusive 
set. Yeah, Nightwing does have a Nightwing exclusive set called Elusive, which I also do really like. I love this set. And I know that at least with these Elusive darts, I do remember them picking these up in Heroic Assault as well. Red Hood was one of the characters in which when I did Heroic Assault again, I also went through it with Red Hood and level 46 modular toxic suit. So this for sure I know I picked up in Heroic Assault. Same with, uh, same with the Red Hood exclusive close combat set. That is another one in which I picked up in Heroic Assault Team Up. Another regenerator suit through uh, for Red Hood. Force Projection was another item in which people have mentioned that they haven't been able to find like an exclusive Red Hood piece and uh, Force Projection. I was able to pick that up in Heroic Assault. We got another team up there. Like I said, all of these are different levels because I went through Heroic Assault with Red Hood. And so that's why you see it kind of increasing. Since I got to level 60, I have not done, you know, any other, you know, thing or activity in the game with Red Hood. Here's a modular one at level 58, another one in which I picked up in Heroic Assault. I think also just to test this out, just to see this officers under attack activity, it says that we're supposed to get a legendary ranged weapon. I'm kind of curious if this actually drops a legendary range because sometimes some of these activities aren't giving us the things that were, at least it says that we're supposed to get. All right, one more enemy. Let's see if we get our reward. Okay, it does say you have acquired a duplicate blueprint, which is kind of interesting because we really don't have any uh, any things. We got Detective Montoya done. Um, let's see if she gives us a reward as well. So let's go over here first, see if we got our legendary ranged piece and it doesn't show that we have one. Now, I guess we did have four items already. Now, was one of these one of them that uh, we were supposed to get right there? I don't know. Definitely not the Predator because that's from the Talia al Ghul thing. Uh, the other three, I suppose it could be possible, but uh, I don't know, maybe not likely. So as you see with Montoya, we're supposed to get a legendary melee, ranged, and a heroic melee. Well, I think we've already known for a while now this heroic melee is a bug or a glitch or whatever. It's never been, at least before Heroic Assault came out, to where Montoya ever gave heroic stuff. Usually what she gave initially, at least before Heroic Assault, was, I believe, direct hit uh, items. And so I think that's the ones that she used to give. We don't have any of those at level 60. We ha hardly have anything with Batgirl. So let's talk to her. Let's see if we get our activity. It shows that we got a uh, Heroic Melee and a Legendary Ranged in Melee. Now, what did we actually get? Well, we did at least get a melee and a ranged. So over here in our melee, it does look like we got the direct hit. So we did get direct hit at least for the tonfas, and then we should get a direct hit on the ranged as well. And there is the direct hit on the ranged. No heroic, but at least I guess that confirms that Montoya is still working. Now, this is actually really interesting. Um, a while ago, at least some number of weeks ago, we did a video on the Gilded Age Tonfas. Now, you acquire these by the Gilded City comic book, I think issue number three. And initially, when we did that video, they dropped to us, as you see, at level 40. Well, Renee Montoya just uh, gave supposed to gave out a heroic item. I didn't even totally think about looking in my loadouts, and the heroic item we got was the Gilded Aged Tonfa at level sixty. Now, this is like I said, this is very interesting, and I'm certainly curious if other people. Like, we should have got it for sure because we bought the comic, we put in the code, we initially got it at level 40. But I'm curious if other people that have put in, that didn't put in the code, do you also get the Gilded Age Tonfa at level 60 or not? So it does look like at least they fixed that aspect of it, which is kind of nice. So I guess to summarize, the watch no longer drops modular gear. 
But we do have quite a few pieces with uh, other characters, and they're the characters that I went through Heroic Assault with. And so that only leads me to believe that you can get modular stuff, but you can only get it in Heroic Assault. You cannot get it in the watch anymore. They only drop regular elemental stuff, which is kind of interesting. You know, there are some other pieces that are certainly really hard to find, like uh, the Lucky Ranged weapons. Now, whether or not those drop in Heroic Assault or not, I do have a piece of Lucky on um, my PC version. And so I'm pretty sure that I got those in Heroic Assault after Heroic Assault, like above level 40. I have all the pieces, you know, at level 40 bo before Heroic Assault came out. But after that, I do believe that I picked them up in Heroic Assault, but I've only seen them once, one single time with one single character. And I think it was on Red Hood, but I could be mistaken. Either way, though, guys, I guess this just confirms that if you're looking for modular stuff, you no longer do the watch. Just don't do it. Uh, go into Heroic Assault, and that's pretty much going to be your only option, I believe. Either way, though, hopefully this video helped and maybe set straight some stuff that you are having questions about. I will see y'all next time. We're out. Peace.